So I'm inside here, the store. We gotta wear masks for the store. But either way, for the souvenirs. Some uh, mugs, the plates. Oh, these are pretty cool. Well, maybe the big one. I don't know, we'll see. It's chicken. There's a ukulele. Gonna buy a ukulele. Oh, hula girl. The one that I have already broke. Some of these shot glasses. Snorkel gear. There we go, snorkeling. That'd be cool. This is a pretty good store. It's uh, called ABC. And, uh, they have a lot of interesting souvenirs to buy. T-shirts, hats, swimwear. They have a lot of magnets here too. Swimwear, shorts for the guys. Lots of T-shirts. Hawaiian shirts, sunglasses, sunscreen lotions. Huh, which one should I take my friends? Any of these? Which one do I want? And of course, have your refreshments, chips, and chips also. Those are like a convenience store, also. That's pretty cool. Just came to the store, bought some things, pretty good things to use for later on. Nice. Because of the swimming pool. People kayaking, coming into the bay, going all the way into the port area. Look at that. The water's clear. Look at the swimming pool. Well, this is with their boats. Out about enjoying the seas. It's cloudy today, but that's usually how it is. Most of the time it's cloudy, but it's on and off. Most of the time it's uh, sunny. But right now it's cloudy. Nothing's biting, huh? Not yet, huh? How you doing? Hey, bud, how you? Pretty good. I'm guessing somebody's probably snorkeling or so. Let's see, where can I set myself up? So right now I'm on the side of this pier and I'm about to set up so I can fly my drone in this area since the wind is a little bit more calmer. Well, there isn't a lot of people out in this area. Um, I'm gonna just fly it out, get a above view so you can see this whole island, this whole area. and. Uh, you can see what it looks like to be out here on Kona. Not the whole island, but this little town where I'm at. A view and what it looks like. That over there is the beach area. Um, a small little beach area. But if you notice, there's not really that much space. Not much area to look at the beach and then there's a hut that was by uh, some settlers a group so some kayakers some paddle boarders we check out the coastline if you notice the water is really nice nice clear that's the other side of the coast
You know, there's just a lot of lava rock. So all this lava from that mountain, that's where it came to. Now what's happening is my drone is now returning home because uh, it's a little bit out of the way. So I figured, hey, might as well make it come here automatically and uh, end up where I'm at. Um, and not have to worry about trying to figure it out for it to get here. There's a boat that does parasailing, as you can tell. Okay, so that was view of how the uh, island over here looks like of Kona. People out there enjoying being outside, enjoying the water, just enjoying the day. Like I said, it does get kind of cloudy over here, but that's because the volcano, the water, I mean the rain appears every so often. But just as it appears, it leaves then maybe a few hours. Other than that, it's a really nice, beautiful day today. 70 80 degrees out here in Kona. Hey, so now I'm walking down the streets, uh, just enjoying right here what is the seaside part of uh, Kona, just so you can uh, get an idea of what kind of uh, stores and restaurants around here. And uh, since I'm out and about, I don't need a mask or anything, then, or anybody gets close by, then I would obviously wear my mask especially going into the building and stuff like that, then I would. A lot of souvenir shops for people who want to buy stuff to remind them up here of Kona and this area. The waves are picking up. <laughs> Starting to splash over little by little. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> you like to hear live music? They'll have some live music right here. It looks like a piano. Maybe it's a piano bar. This right here is a church. So means this church has been here 200 years. From what I understand, it's a uh, the first Christian church that appeared here in uh, in Hawaii. Well, on this island, Kona. And right over here is Huliki, and this is a uh, that they created into a museum now. But we didn't reserve to open because you know the social distancing and because of COVID and all that stuff. They don't want everybody to just show up all of a sudden. So. You have to reserve the day that you're going to go from Monday to Saturday to the website of Daughters of Hawaii and they'll give you a tour of the inside and explain everything. This will be the place to come to. Some nice trees. Some of these trees and some of these plants that I found out are unique to here to Hawaii. Some of these plants and trees do not exist anywhere else in the world because this is a tropical area that also feeds off of volcanic ash volcanic dirt volcanic uh, rocks so you have different minerals different providing nutrients for these plants different kinds of plants there's a marketplace uh, right now since it is Thursday some of these places are not open yet I'm guessing they open on the weekends Fridays Saturdays maybe even Sundays but uh if anything that would be the marketplace right there no, are they open? I don't know. The only way to find out is to go find out, right? So I'm gonna go over there and see what stores that might be open by crossing the street. And no worries about people trying to run you over or anything, don't stop. So this would be the marketplace, which to me it looks like it's abandoned. Not really abandoned, it's unoccupied. Um, but they used to have, and they probably still do, have like a tattoo shop. It was pretty cool. Aloha And since I like to explore we're going somewhere that maybe that might not be a good place to be But I'm taking a trip going around so, Rolls this is a pretty cool area There's a eatery place down there all eat dolls karaoke and entertainment in that area. It's a bar, you know provide music like I said, there's a lot of areas that are unoccupied right now. Very interesting place here. 
and uh, I think that was it on this side. I'm gonna go back to the main road, keep on going the route that I was before I decided I want to turn back around. Tattoo shop. Sunglasses. Kind of seems like I went the wrong way or something. The shop area. More souvenirs. You go right through here, right through this. You like to buy dresses? Do this. I just crossing through. So open area. That's pretty cool. This is yeah. Some kind of a restaurant or it says club. So what does that mean? Like a club as in a bar. You know, have a good view of the ocean. You know, splashing these waves. More souvenir shops. Like I said, since today's Thursday, not all these shops are open. Uh, it's not gonna be until tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when they open up most painting. That's cool. How you doing? You paint these? Uh, my husband's a Your husband? Husband? Yeah, That's cool. Yeah. Do you, do you uh, sell these paintings? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah. Yep. oh nice, oh, nice little prices too. Do you have a website or anything? We sure do. You do? Roll call Studios. All right, cool. Y'all deliver? Um, yeah, we'll you ship, did the Lord yeah, yeah, shipping we'll ship Yeah, oh, okay. so actually on all of the paintings we offer free shipping. Oh, okay. So that's pretty cool. She has a lot of paintings. There's some ice cream place right here. Bubba's. The area that I was standing at. See over there somewhere by the pier. And this is the area where I was looking at. But the water is very shallow. That's because of the rocks are right there, but the waves are pretty nice. So that's good. And now you can see the sailboats much closer because they're further away from the pier area. And it's very open area. Somebody would just come over here and just rest, you know, enjoy the outdoors, listening to the waves. Just some alone time even, you know, sometimes that's what you need to refresh your mind. To just have some alone time. This is a pretty cool shop area market sandals Very cool. swimwear and that's it i mean that's the here the marketplace i was on one side of the street go to find out across the other side of the street and that's where the actual market is at really really big so we can uh see that there's a lot of shops in this area we can buy souvenirs buy ice cream buy snow cones enjoy some paintings you know, uh, let's see what else there is out here. Okay, now it looks like over here on this side, it's like a marketplace. There's some people selling some fruit, vegetables. That's pretty cool. Oh, it came late, huh? But since it is almost 4 p.m., I think some of these places are about to close nice coffee designs that's awesome they're about to close maybe they'll buy me some coconuts buy me something out of here how's it going sir? pretty good i like your shoes oh thanks that's a uh, local oh yeah in cristo aloha And mats. What are these? Like quilts. Oh, the quilts. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. That was a, a local shop. Have a lot of interesting items, fruits, vegetables, things that you could have. You know, to decorate your house. You know. Uh, Hang some wind chimes, stuff like that. Now we're gonna go to this other building. It's a blue building because there are a lot of shops down this way. Hello. Aloha. 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 Can I go inside the church? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Do I need to do anything special? Have faith. Have faith. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Welcome. Thank you. So I was walking over here on the street, and I noticed there's this uh. 
church, St. Michael the Archangel. So this is a statue, and of course that's the church. So I'm gonna go inside real quick, give you a little view of what this church looks like from the inside, and then from there, we'll continue back out. looks like but well, if you notice it's a lot of open area they put the chairs outside where people can also enjoy listening to the mass and it's open air so there's no AC right now since it is kind of cool so it is an interesting church here as you can see it's pretty big the church I think it's pretty cool. Now, you know, find out who was it put here. Sometimes you'll find out. I think they have a little small cemetery on that side. The Divine Mercy. So you can see the church was founded in 1850s. It's the oldest, it's the oldest Catholic church here on Hawaii and it was also was rebuilt well yeah they did a they did a good job it looks nice so that's pretty cool to see this church from 1850s and then was remodeled rebuilt to have more space and it looks like they're doing more remodification over there adding probably more more area bye, bye. So now I'm coming into this uh, I don't know, it's a shop area with this guy right here, Captain Jack. I'm guessing that's who that is. Captain Jack looks kind of happy. Let's see, which way should we go? I think we'll go to the right, because why not? If you notice, everything's wood. So it's like walking on a pier everywhere. This is a party starter. Party starts here, Papa Kona. This is a restaurant all the fishermen catching what is that mahi tuna stores more souvenirs some more paints that's cool there's the ocean over there but this one kind of looks like it's under construction still not too many shops are available here it looks like it's going to be something pretty big you know there's the beach area not very accessible to get inside the water but hey where there's a will there's a way to get in the water so if you want to get in the water there's always a way to get in then we'll cross the street right about here more shops here this is more like the vacation rentals flowers A lot of businesses out that way. So counseling, couple counseling. Hey, you come to the beach, you still need counseling. You got oh, a lot of offices with local businesses. Barbershop looks like down there. What does that say? VIP something. Restaurant here called Island Java. Thing to have music tonight. More shops. Let's go this way. Look like a shopping center. This is interesting. Oh, volleyball. I need some volleyball. Oh, just practicing. Souvenir shops. Snow cone shop. Uh, people enjoying just the outdoors. Sports bar. Gypsy tattoos area. So looks like that's it here. Got a new sports bar. There's another bar up there. Another sports bar. I think this trip right here is over. Uh, 
a uh, snow cone place over there on the other side. As you can tell, there's a lot of movement over here right now. So I'm gonna cross right here. And if you wanna not walk everywhere, you could always rent a bike. Very accessible. You pay your fee. Right now, just to give you an idea of where I'm at, the pier where I was at is wide over there, pretty much straight ahead where I'm my finger is at. That's where the pier is at, so I had to go down and walk back over there, which from here is about a mile and a quarter. It's not too far, maybe a mile actually. So that's why I need to walk back because I have to get ready for another event. Sheraton. We're going to a, a, a luau uh, to see the traditional dances here in Hawaii. And also we're going to have some food and it should last about like an hour. This hotel is pretty nice. It's in the water and everything. But uh, I'm trying to get to where the restaurant is at. But uh, this is the uh, Sheraton.
Okay, so we just came out of the Luau and uh, we're now heading back, but it was very interesting Luau.